dear students today's topic is compound pendulum in this portion we are going to study what is a compound pendulum and the expression for the period of oscillation of a compound pendulum and the compound pendulum is also called physical pendulum or bar pendulum a compound pendulum is a rigid body of any shape which is capable of oscillating freely about a horizontal axis passing through it a rigid body means a body in which the distance between any two particles remains constant in time irrespective of the external force acting on it the point in which the vertical plane passing through the center of gravity of the pendulum means the axis of rotation is called the center of suspension that is in the figure O is called the center of suspension because O is a point in which this horizontal axis it meets the vertical plane which is passing through the center of gravity and this point is called the center of suspension that is the center of suspension is the point in which the vertical plane which is passing through the center of gravity meets the axis of rotation and here o is the center of suspension and g is the center of gravity and the distance between the center of suspension and the center of gravity is called the length of the pendulum so in the figure o is the center of suspension and g is the center of gravity therefore the distance between o and g it is called the length of the pendulum and in the second figure it represents a bar pendulum and the bar pendulum o is the center of suspension and g is the center of gravity and the distance between o and g represents the length of the pendulum it is represented by the letter h and let us find an expression for the period of oscillation of a compound pendulum and the figure represents a vertical section of a compound pendulum and this compound pendulum is free to rotate about a horizontal axis passing through the point of suspension or the center of suspension in its normal state its center of gravity g it lies vertically below o and the distance between o and g giving the length of the pendulum and let h be the distance between o and g let the pendulum is giving a small angular displacement theta then the center of gravity g will be shifted to g dash let g dash be the position of the center of gravity now then at the point g dash the weight of the pendulum mg which is acting vertically downward and its reaction at the point o it constitute a couple that is the weight and its reaction at the point o it constitutes a couple or a torque and because of this couple the pendulum it come back to its original position and therefore this couple is called the restoring couple and the moment of the restoring couple or the torque can be represented as force into perpendicular distance here the force is the weight of the body which is acting vertically downward that is mg into g dash a where g dash is the perpendicular distance from this point to the center of suspension o and this g dash a can be represented as h sin theta because in this figure we can consider a triangle a o g dash and the angle o is theta therefore the h sin theta is the opposite side with respect to this theta therefore the sin theta can be represented as g dash a divided by g dash o and g dash o is h and g dash a divided by h 
that is g dash a can be represented as h sin theta therefore the moment of the restoring couple can be represented as mg h theta and this theta is very small therefore it can be approximated sin theta is equal to theta therefore the restoring couple can be represented as mgh theta if i is the moment of inertia of the pendulum about the axis of suspension o and d square theta by dt square is the angular acceleration then the moment of the deflecting couple is equal to i into d square theta divided by dt square and equating these two couples that is i into d square theta by dt square is equal to mgh theta but here the restoring couple it can be represented as minus mgh theta because the negative sign shows that the couple is oppositely directed to the displacement theta and in the figure this is the angular displacement theta and the couple it is oppositely directed to this theta and because of this couple the body it tends to comes to this direction that is to the normal direction therefore this negative sign shows that the couple is directed opposite to the displacement theta that is d square theta by dt square is equal to minus mgh divided by i into theta and this equation shows that the angular acceleration d square theta by dt square is proportional to the angular displacement that is in the case of linear simple harmonic motion we have already studied that the linear acceleration a will be proportional to the linear displacement x that is the linear acceleration a is proportional to the linear displacement x and is acting opposite to the direction in which the linear displacement x plays similarly here the angular acceleration d square theta by dt square it is proportional to theta but it is acting opposite to the direction in which the angular dis ang sorry the angular displacement x plays therefore from this equation we can see that the oscillation of the common pendulum is simple harmonic because angular acceleration is proportional to minus of angular displacement and we have already studied the standard differential equation for the simple harmonic motion that is d square x by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0 or d square x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x or from this equation omega can be represented as omega is equal to root of mgh by i therefore the period of oscillation of the compound pendulum t is equal to 2 pi by omega is equal to 2 pi into root of i by mgh if ig is the moment of inertia of the pendulum about a parallel axis through the center of gravity then by parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of the whole body i can be represented as i is equal to ig plus mh square where h is the distance between the center of suspension and center of gravity or the length of the pendulum but ig can be represented as mk square where k is the radius of gyration of the pendulum about an axis passing through g therefore i can be represented as m k square plus m h square or m into k square plus h square therefore the period of oscillation of a compound pendulum t is equal to 2 pi into root of m into k square plus h square divided by m g h and this can be written as 2 pi into root of k square plus h square divided by g h or it can also be represented as 2 pi into root of 1 by g into k square divided by h plus h 
This is the expression for the period of oscillation of a compound pendulum. 